Hello, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to talk about writing equations of lines in slope-intercept form. Our objective today is just that, that you will write equations of lines in slope-intercept form. The question I'd like you thinking about today is using what you know about the graph of a line, how can you write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form? So slope-intercept form is the equation of a line in the form y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope of the line and b represents the y-intercept of the line. So given a slope of negative 4 and a y-intercept of 9, we are going to replace our m with our slope negative 4 and b our y-intercept with 9. So the equation of this line with these characteristics would be y equals negative 4x plus 9. We could also write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form using a graph. So here I have a graphed line, and I'm going to identify the slope and the y-intercept from this line to write it in slope-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify that we have a slope. You can find any point on the line. I'm going to start here. You rise 1 and run 2 to get to the next point on the line. So 1 over 2, our slope is 1 half. We bring down our x, our input, and then we identify our y-intercept as positive 1. So the equation of this line is y equals 1 half x plus 1. Now we could also write the equation of a line that passes through two points in slope-intercept form, and here's how. We start with our slope-intercept form, and we want to identify our slope and our y-intercept. To find the slope, we're going to find the change in y, negative 2, subtract 7, all divided by our change in x, 0, subtract 4. So negative 2 subtract 7 is negative 9, 0 subtract 4 is negative 4, and that gives me a slope of positive 9 fourths. So I can then identify that given this point has an x-coordinate of 0, that tells me that my y-intercept is negative 2. When I plot this point, it will be on the y-axis. So therefore, we know that our slope is going to be 9 fourths x subtract 2. So there we have it in slope intercept form. Now, using two points, we're going to do the same thing, only this time neither of the points that were given to us are the y intercept. So I will show you how to find that without graphing. So we start with our slope intercept form, and we're going to find our slope. So negative 4 subtract 1 all over our x's, negative 4, subtract negative 2. So we have negative 5, and remember, add the opposite. So negative 4, add 2, is negative 2. And again, they're both negative, so we have a positive slope of 5 halves. We can now plug in our slope. We know it's going to be y equals 5 halves x plus our y-intercept b. Since neither of these points have an x-coordinate of 0, and we don't know the y-intercept, we know, though, that these are specific solutions or points on the line. So we know that we can replace the x and y with the x and y coordinate of one of the points. So it needs to make this equation true. So x is negative 4, then y has to be negative 4. You could have also used this point if you chose. So if I solve this equation, I will find my y-intercept. So first I'm going to multiply 5 halves times negative 4, which is negative 10. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, divide by 2, negative 10. To solve for b, I'm now going to add 10 to both sides of the equation, and I get that negative 4 and 10 are 6. So my y-intercept, b, is 6. So the equation of my line in slope-intercept form is y equals 5 halves x plus 6. Now we can use function notation to write the equation in slope-intercept form. We need to understand that these represent points on the line. When we have an input or x value of 0, 
our output or y coordinate is negative 2. This one is an input or x value of 3 has a y value of 8. So now we can find the slope. Negative 2 subtract 8 all over our change in x, 0 subtract 3. So we have negative 10 over negative 3 for a positive 10 thirds for our slope. Do not try to put this in decimal form. It would be a non-terminating decimal. Leave it as a fraction because it also helps to graph rise 10, run 3. So leave your slope in fraction form. It will help you. And now we can identify, because the x-coordinate here is 0, that our y-intercept or b value is negative 2. So let's write our equation. y equals our slope 10 thirds x subtract 2. Our y-intercept is negative 2. Now we can also change an equation given to us in a different form. This is actually what we call standard form, but we're asked to write this equation in slope-intercept form. So you might have also heard solve for y. So we're going to rearrange these terms so that it is y equals. So the first thing we want to do is identify that we are isolating this y in this term. So we want to make 7x go to the other side. We're going to use inverse operations to do that. So the opposite of 7x is negative 7x. And what I do to the left, I must do to the right. So this is 0, leaving me negative 3y, and then I have negative 7x and positive 27, setting it up to be mx plus b form. But y is not alone. We need to have a coefficient of 1. So now I'm going to divide all terms by negative 3. Don't forget you need to divide each term of both sides of the equation by that coefficient. So negative 3y divided by negative 3 is y. Negative 7 divided by negative 3 gives us a positive 7 thirds slope times x, and then 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9. So these are equivalent equations in two different forms, but now it's in slope-intercept form, and you can see we can determine that our slope of the line is 7 thirds and our y-intercept is negative 9, which you could not do by looking at it in this form. Now it's your turn. I've shown you a lot of different ways to write the equation in slope-intercept form, and it's your turn to practice. So I would like you to write the equation of the line that passes through these points in slope-intercept form now. Please pause and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So I hope you first wrote these as ordered pairs. x negative 3 has an output of negative 3. When x, our input is 6, we have an output of 18, creating that ordered pair. So we are going to find our slope, negative 3, subtract 18, divided by negative 3, subtract 6, negative 21 over 9, which simplifies to positive 7 thirds. These are both divisible by 3. So now we have y equals our slope times x plus b. Neither of these points have an x coordinate of 0, so I'm going to pick 1. Negative 3 in for y, negative 3 in for x. So this is one ordered pair that needs to make this equation true. And I'm going to solve for b, my y-intercept. So 7 thirds times negative 3 is negative 7. And now I'm going to add 7 to both sides to solve for my y-intercept. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. And now I can write the equation of my line, my slope, x plus my y-intercept. Your turn. Please write the equation of this graphed line in slope-intercept form. Pause now. Come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're going to identify our slope first. So we are going to come over here. I picked this point. I'm going to rise 1, 2, 3, and run negative 2. So negative 3 halves times x, and our y-intercept over here is negative 3. So subtract 3. There you have it. y equals negative 3 halves x subtract 3 is the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. Your turn again. Please write the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. Please pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. 
You'll learn in my next video in this playlist that this is point-slope form, but to put it in slope-intercept form, we are going to solve for y. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to distribute the 1 half to the x and to the 6. That gives us y subtract 4 equals 1 half x and 1 half of 6 is 3. Now to isolate y, we are going to add 4 to each side of the equation to solve for y. This is 0, negative 4 and 4 are 0, and then 3 plus 4 is 7. So again, these are equivalent equations. One is in a different form, and here's our slope-intercept form. We can identify that our slope is 1 half and our y-intercept is 7. So you can see that it's useful to rewrite equations of lines in slope-intercept form to identify slope and the y-intercept to help you graph. Your turn. I would like you to write the equation of the line that passes through these two points and do it in slope-intercept form. Pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So the first thing I hope you did was to find slope. Negative 1 subtract 9 is our change in y. Over 0 subtract negative 2, our change in x. So that gives us, remember, add the opposite. Negative 1 plus 9 is 8, and 0 plus 2 is 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we know that we have a slope of 4. Now I can come up here and identify that I was given the y-intercept. I know this because the x-coordinate is 0. If I plot this on a graph, it will be on the y-axis at negative 1. So inputting my slope of 4 and my y-intercept of negative 1, I have my slope-intercept form. There you have it. That is how we write equations of lines in slope-intercept form, where m represents the slope and b represents the intercept. I thank you for joining me today and continuing to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.